Welcome to Project Matthews, a special NHL 25 hot series. Here are the rules. Free to play. I can't buy players from the market other than Austin Matthews cards. I also need to earn every pack, reward, set that I open by scoring a hat trick with Matthews or getting the first star of the game with him. If opponent quits in a game where Matthews has scored, that counts as well. Only online games and games against Superstar AI apply towards hat tricks and first stars. Here we go, another week of Project Matthews. The first two champions of NHL 25 are starting next week. So my goal this week is first of all to score with Matthews and improve my team, especially my defense, which is horrific right now. And also I need to get my game play at a level where I can compete for the top spots in champs because so far this year I don't feel like I'm at that level. So I'm grinding division one in rivals for the entire episode. And I'm down 4-5 in my first game but cannot hide up. Dude you can't pass side to side this game. I just can't man. I can't seem to pass. First game of the week and the first loss. I did win my next game and showed glimpses of what my gameplay could look like. That's a... That's an unbelievable play and of course somebody has hit the goalie. Was it Matthews? Yeah, of course it was. Matthews also got the first star of the game and I have my first pack of the episode to open. 80 overall season 1 choice pack from the Axe Pass. I chose Drysdale just because I need a defenseman and he looked like the best option. I can finally get rid of Robin Salo on my defense. <laughs> thank, thank you. Here we go. So Riley Drysdale. This is why I took Drysdale. It's looking a lot, lot better now. I noticed Drysdale's speed right away. Drysdale. Look at the speed on Drysdale. This is the sort of defenseman I need. Oh my god, he actually got back in time. Even though I scored an insane goal with McDavid, I lost again. Guys, what's going on? Am I washed? Am I not the same player than before? Is Break Matthews slowing me down? I don't know, but I'll keep fighting. Like, yeah, I'm a dad now, but come on. I still should be able to win most of my NHL games. Next game, third period, I'm down 2-1 again. There's no way I'm losing my third game of the week already, right? Yeah, things aren't pretty, really going my way at the moment. That's so nice. There we go. Finally a good play. Nice. That's a good play. Matthews. Yo. Okay, I started cooking here. I, I complained for one and a half games and now, now things are good. Level 5 objectives. Did Matthews get the first star? Let's see. He got a goal at least. With good luck, he might have gotten the first star. Oh, he was the second star. Oh, yeah, yeah. My next one was one of the most ridiculous NHL games I've ever been a part of. Even when you're in front of the net, just hit, just head towards the point. There we go, that's Matthews, that's an important goal. I'm down 2-1 in the third period, and, well, just watch. What an unbelievably fun game this is. <laughs> Daniel f***ing it. Dude, I'm so close of topping the stream and not playing till the next patch. Oh, he got that. Damn. Is this fun? For sake. <laughs> I'm so f***ing over it. I'm so f***ing over it, man. Nice pass. All right, that's an initial 24 goal. <clears throat> oh man, EA. What are we doing here? Like, I think the game is fine this year if we don't count 
how OP the green timed one timers are. What is taking so damn long in patching it? Is there someone who likes 50% of the DDD one timers to go in the net? It's really getting on my nerves, <laughs> as you can see. Moving on. Here's something I like this year and I recommend you guys to try. When you can get the goalie moving side to side in close, you can actually score five hole. If you want tips on anything else, I can't teach you right now, as I lost this game, and as my third loss of the week already wasn't enough, I rage quitted the next game, being down 4-0. I'm speechless. I can't. I can't. I'll go to the next game. I'm officially under 500 this rival season. 3 and 4, baby. Oh, man. I'm still making some nice plays, and I did end up winning my next two games. I feel like if I could just find some consistency, I'm good. Most of my losses this year have been games going down to the wire, which I haven't been able to clutch up like I have been in the years past. By the way, I finally earned a pack as well. My opponent quit. And Matthews had scored. And it's not just any other pack. It's an 83 overall cover athletes choice pack. Which EA gave every player free in the store. Sakik was unreal last year as well. His 88 overall card was in my world championship team in my fourth line. Against 99s. So I trust Sakik on this. I placed Sakik in my first line. And moved Matthews to the wing. He's been a bit quiet. So I'm trying to wake him up. Let's straight up skip to the last minute in my first game with the lineup changes. Devon Taves. How is that going in, man? Oh my god. Ay, 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 ay. Unfortunate. Again, a game where I'm out shooting, out TOAing my opponent, but yet another game where I lose the game at the end. My 11th game of the week, and finally, Matthews decided to show up. Matthews, 5 hole. Nice try. Backdoor. There he is. Okay, Matthews, this is the game. This is the game. Matthews. Nice, there we go. Two goals for Matthews. Matthews. There we go, there's the hat-trick. There's the hat trick. Hat trick for Matthews, but I'm still down. <laughs> but it's nice to get a hat trick for Matthews. At least something. It wasn't enough though, as I lost another game. Six losses in 11 games to start the week. I don't think I've ever lost six NHL games in one session. I don't know. At least not in the past 10 years. Yeah. Anyway, Matthews did get a first star and the hat trick, so it's pack time. I had an 82 overall random cover athlete player pack, which I got from objectives. I got Cloud Chiru, which is good, but still no defenseman. I also spent 100,000 coins on a Jumbo Elite pack. I'm getting a forward. I don't feel like they're giving me a lot. Oh, I already got 180. After the packs, I called it a day and came back a couple days after with a new team. Matthews back in the middle and I also broke the rules of the series. I broke the rules of Project Matthews a bit. I used the market, but don't worry, it's only jerseys. <laughs> I, only bought, I only bought jerseys. I can't play with the Leafs jerseys. I guess that's why I've been losing so much. I changed my jerseys. I changed my lines. I changed all of my strats, which I'll show at the end of the video. I even changed my pass assist. First game with new everything, I guess. Looked good in the third. I scored a sick goal to take the lead, but can I actually clutch up a win this year for once? Yeah, I'm playing high pressure. I thought I had two guys at the point, but... Mm. What a save. Dude, no way. If he would have scored another one of those, I, I don't know. He's going to the point. Yeah, he tried. McDavid, hey, penalty shot. Penalty shot has to be. There we go. GG's. Damn, awful penalty shot. I'm speechless for the second time. 
this episode. But then I changed my camera angle to overhead and it completely changed everything. Here's quick highlights of my next three games. Beautiful, that's such a nice play, man. The fourth line again. What a pass, Daniel Sedin. There we go. Great vision. There we go. Connor McDavid. Why a chance to look at that cycle again? Let's go. There we go. Why a chance to two goals in the game? Matthews. McDavid. That's good. Matthews, there we go. There he is. Back door would be wide open, but I want that freaking. His goal is down. There we go. Okay. Matthews got the first star in my third win in a row. And guys, I've been grinding hot moments off camera, so I have a power up icon choice pack to open, and I can finally improve my defense. Even though there's a lot of good forwards, I'm really taking Paul Coffey here. He would be a fast defenseman, 89 speed, solid size. He's always good in NHLs. I'll take Paul Coffey. This is a really easy choice for me. If I would get like two more defensemen, the team is actually solid. My next game is an insane matchup. I'm playing T. Cantola, who I lost to 4-0 in my last episode. He has players like Lemieux already in his team. This is a massive test for me. Is my newfound confidence just a fluke or did I actually find my game? Let's see. There we go, Raymond. What a start to the game, man. That isn't even a skill-based one-timer and it goes in. Oh, my player tried a desperation goal to his own net. <laughs> That's a mistake from you, Matthews. What a say. Rebound, nice. Rise there, beautiful. Dude, my forecheck is insane right now. What a save, man! What? Is that goalie axe factor just OP? That grudge match axe factor? Oh, yeah. Pretty easy go. I'm, I'm telling you, that goalie with that axe factor is nuts. What's that? How is that pass going through? Oh my god, that should never go through. Chiru, nice. Important goal, get back into it. What a save. OT, alright. Oh. Yo, had Matthews there. Hey, Alston Matthews, bang, the game winner. Give him Lemmy, uh, give him all the cards. I have Matthews. Come on, boys. Matthews with the game winner and the first star of the game as well. And I have another icon choice pack to open again from Hot Moments. Guys, don't forget to play your Hot Moments. One of the best ways to earn rewards with how the XP path is currently. I improved my team with yet another defenseman in Gonchar. Here we go. So first line deep pair, Coffee and Rystel worked really good the last game. Then Dirty Gonchar plays right. All right. I'm sad to say my first game with Gonchar, I fell back to my old habits this year. I played a really bad game. And even though I did have momentum in the third period to tie the game, I couldn't do it and I lost my win streak. I did bounce back in my next game. But after that, I lost yet another two games. In both of the games, I had close to 20 shots, but I couldn't score more than two goals in either game. I also had struggles defensively in key moments, which costed me wins. The inconsistency is crazy at the moment, but looking at the positives, I'm in all of these games that I'm losing. Heading to my 21st game of the week, and I'm starting to learn the art of the 5-hole. Chiro, 5-hole? I'm telling you, up uh, close to the net if you can get the goalie moving. 5-hole is... It's really effective if you can time it right. Five hole? Five hole? Look, I'm telling you, that five hole goal. I'm, <laughs> I'm learning it. We're heading to my final six games of the week. I finally decided to change my goalie. 
you know, maybe Stolars has been the issue all along. I'm kidding, but it's worth to test out another goalie. The problem is, I don't have any other choices other than Hildeby, but he's 2 meters tall, so I gave him a shot. First win with Hildeby was a straightforward win, even though he did allow a glitch wrap. Can I really blame him though? By the way, that's crazy that we have yet another glitch wrap in the game this year. It's like every other year they fix it and then it comes back again. In my next game, Matthews went crazy. Let's try to find the consistency. Matthews, nice, Austin Matthews, beauty backhand. Austin Matthews, two goals in one shift, there we go. Come on, there he is. That's a hat-trick and a first star for Matthews. Two packs. Come on. I'll double confirm that. Yeah. Yeah, it has to be Matthews the first star. We don't even have to look. I have yet another good pack to open. An 82 overall team of the week choice pack. I don't even remember where I got this from. I took Byram because he was the best demon available. And I got to admit, I think my team is good now. Not great, obviously, but the team shouldn't be an excuse in any of my losses, at least anymore. Maybe it's showing on the ice because I'm winning games again. Next game, 7-2 win, and then I faced an opponent who I had lost to earlier in the week. This time, I didn't. Matthew scored an important goal and had another assist. I'm a total fool though and forgot to check if he got the first star of the game. Oh, I forgot to check if Matthews got the first star. Oh, I'm such an idiot. But let me know if I cheated here. I'll open a pack. <laughs> I regardless opened a pack because I was pretty sure he got the first star in the last game. But I'm fair. If you call BS in the comments, I will leave one reward unopened in the next episode. Moving on, I have an 82 overall cover athlete choice pack, which I've gotten from objectives. And it's... Chris Pronger! Bang! <laughs> I placed Bronger in my third line D pair and tried to keep my winning streak going for the last two games of the week. It's actually at five now, which is the most for me this year after I got to division one. Bronger showed up right away with a debut goal. I'm having a tough time though. Opponent is out shooting me by a lot heading into the third, but now it's time to cook. Yo, it's so nice. The first line and Matthews of course finishes it off. Oh yeah, Bob and Byra, there we go. Dude, I'm so happy I finally have good defense, man. Get it to McDavid. Come on, let's go, boys. The first line. Nice, dude. By Look at Byra, man. Just go all the way, man. You, you deserve it. Look at what's up with Byra. Dude, what's up with Bob and Byra, man? Oh my god. Project Bob and Byra. <laughs> Heading into my last game of the week, can I make the winning streak seven games or will I end my week on a loss? Right, save. Hildeby is a winning goal, even though even though he al he's allowed some weird ones. Dude, he, he makes the timely stops, which actually matter. No. Yes. Matthews. Woo. No, I tried to pass with my backhand. Oh, the poke is nuts. Fuck. Oh my god, man. Didn't really have any other angle to shoot that. Like, I know it's from a good place, but... Oh my god, he scored two goals from the same spot. I'll take a timeout. Yo, if... Oh, it's like it was open. This guy's poke, the poke check is crazy. Just as I said, he took a penalty. There we go, Austin Matthews. The captain, without a C yet, <laughs> but gets me back into the game. All right, that's really important. Let's go, man. Not ending the week on a loss. All right, come on. Final minute.
Shit. Up and down week in general, got to say, at least my gameplay took massive steps forward to finish off the episode, which is a good sign for hot champions next week, but I still have to improve a lot, especially if I want that 20 and off. I promise to show you my strats at the end of the video, so here you go. Changing to behind the net in all lines and placing all of my sliders at 9 seemed to work for me. I can't even explain it, I just wanted to be aggressive all across the ice and high sliders helps with that. I'm also running almost a full maxed out 4 check because I think 4 checking is really strong this year. High pressure on defense to limit the point shots but still collapsing so my players wouldn't leave the in front of the net wide open either. Standard lives on early 3 high offensively. This is so my forwards would play as high as possible without me having to play aggressive or full attack on the offensive pressure to limit my demon to jumping up to the play and causing counterattacks to my own end. My final tip is to try to lower your pass assist this year. In the past I've always been running 100, but I'm telling you, in this game everything over 80 and you're auto-locking on passes to teammates you don't even want to pass it to way too much. It does still happen with a lower pass assist, but once you get used to it, you have a lot more control. My new undefeated hoodies <laughs> out now, link in the description. Also don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you and see you next time.